You guys have been asking for this video for a long time. This is probably one of the most requested videos in the comment section. But before we get into this video, I wanna let you guys know that all our future projects are gonna be funded through our merch. So if you guys love the content, go to blacktipage.com and check out our merch. In this video, we're in Louisiana and I go on my first ever gator hunt. We got invited on a gator hunt by my buddy Jack from Jacked Up Fishing Charters. And it was quite an experience. Check it out. This could be a giant. Hey, pull up on the bank and kill the engine. All right, we got a gator on. Hey, you ready? Yes, Looks sir. like he's about Loaded? Six seven foot. Yes, sir. How big is he? Get him, get him. Boom. Hey. One at a time, Tate. We're going to shoot him one at a time. Done. Oh, Tate, you good job, bro. Thank you. Tate's bigger than you. If we stay out here long enough, you'll have one size of the boat. Wait, what? I'm going to come all the way across. Right? He's definitely dead. Just all nerves now. Look at that tail. Your tail is so long. It's squishy on the side. See how he feels so tough on top? Yeah, he's on so the bottom, squishy he's so on the side. Soft. Yeah. Look at that. Look like he need a pedicure. <laughs> that, that red and yellow flag over there, there's nothing, the bait's not hanging. There's right one here. on that one. Get a monster on it, right? 10 foot, 11 foot. 12 foot, I'm gonna need y'all's help pulling him out. Yeah. This right. gator that's on this one, it broke the rope and it got tangled up somewhere. We can see stuff moving over here, so we're gonna find this rope and hopefully find that gator. Found it, here we go. Right. Found the rope, found the rope. Sir. Oh, it's big, dude, this thing's heavy, man. Oh, he's big. Oh, he's huge. Yeah. We're in his head right too. This is like a 10 footer, dude. I oh, know. Oh, right get him, get him. That's a big one, man. Oh. Yeah, when those legs start coming forward like that, that's a good indication that he's not feeling so hot. But it's pretty much game over. Oh, my. Woo. Oh, that's a good goes. one right there, right? Start peeing. That's a good gator. Woo! Right, Jack. Good job, Jack. Jack. Oh, good good job, man. We Thank you. Jack, I saw Jack in the mirror. This was like the most last minute trip of all time. Literally, we, we, we pulled up. <laughs> Our boat was supposed to be delivered today, and uh, that didn't happen. So, yeah, that's another story for another time. But but we uh, we pulled up. These guys were filleting trout. You know, I'm like, he started talking about gator hunting. He's like, dude, I'm going gator hunting this afternoon. You know, and he said, it's the last day. I'm like, you, really? So, Tate was nice enough to let us come along. This is, a, this is a quite an experience here, I'll tell you that. I've never seen these things up close. I've never been able to touch them like this. And uh, all, this gator will not be wasted at all. Every piece of this gator will be used. He's dead and he's still walking around. Does he? Oh my gosh. He ain't dead. I mean, he's dead, but the nerves ain't. Hold on, hold on. So, so this, gator, right. this gator was a released gator. So they take them, and if you look from right here, yeah. they got this notch cut out. Yeah. If you come from where they had these two notches, yeah. they go A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And then it means something. What's the G know? mean? It means uh, when he was released, what year he was released, probably what size he was when he was released. Really? Because previous release gators might have like B and C cut off. That 11 footer that we caught earlier this year had B and C was cut off. So what we're about to do here is tag this gator. Uh, there's a tag system to make sure that gators are killed on the right land uh, by the right hunters. So uh, what they ask is that you come about six or seven inches from the tip of the tail. Of course, he's gonna still be alive because he's like a snake, he's got nerves. And you just pop it through that segment. Get it through there, take this tag, you leave the button facing out, and you snap it. Tag gator right there. Now, who's releasing them? 
of the wildlife and fisheries. Okay. okay. Strong so animal. The fact well, that he was in yeah. captivity and fed by humans makes all the more better that you got to catch him because, you know what I'm saying, yeah, he lived yeah. this long. He should have been caught even way longer ago, you know, he should have never got that big. Really? But he obviously got smarter and smarter to know, stay away from humans and chicken. Oh my gosh, it's a giant, dude. You can, you can. Sure? Yeah, you can. Okay. It's a safety, safety, safety. safety. That's safety. You're on safety right now. That's fine. That's fine, right? Here we go. Have you ever shot an alligator before? I've never shot an animal before. It's my first one, just like you. Really? Yeah. Cool. How about that? <laughs> Tate, you're going to help pull him in, right, buddy? Come on now. He's heavy, isn't he? He looked mean, dude. Oh, man. Look at that. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I can get him, I'll get him, okay? If you see him, just shoot him right in No, I wouldn't hit him too much. Not at that angle. Ooh. 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 I think I just made him matter. Uh, he's dead, he's just going crazy. He's dead. That lady comes forward, that's a good indication. He yeah, is so dead. dead, it's not even funny. Look at that. <laughs> he's pretty dead. He's pretty dead. <laughs> that was a pretty good shot. Thank you. That's right through my eyes. There you go. There you go. Oh. Dude, he's so freaking heavy. Smash his head down now. Well, yeah, Jack. All right, come on now. Ready? Yeah. Here we go. Oh. Yeah, bigger Woo. boat. Yeah, we're gonna need a bigger boat. What you think, Jack? <laughs> That's a good one. That's a big one. Dude. That, that is a big one. <laughs> That's a good one. Dude, look at this. Guys, look how tall the tail is. Look at this. The tail. Look at the tail is. Look at that! Look at the size of that tail! Beast mode, <laughs> You've probably seen gator videos in Florida where people are gator hunting. It's completely different here. So, it's how many tags he's got. He can, you know, normally you don't see this many gators on a boat at a time. But because the way that things work here in Louisiana, I can let Jack explain a little better. As many tags as he has, I mean, if he can put 30 gators on the boat and he's got 30 tags, he can do it. Put it to you this way. I didn't want my circle to be this big. I wanted my circle to be this big. So. You get a cheap price, and you get to go on an actual hunt. You don't get to just take whatever you get, you know. And in Florida, they, you got to snag them. Here, we're using hook and line yeah, bait. You, you set a it's line. real fishing. Yeah, you set a, set a pole in the ground. You put a clothespin on it. You got a big old alligator hook, shark hook on one end. Tie it to some strong string. On the other end, you put a two-by-two two stab. Tie it about a third of the way from the bottom. Stab it in the mud. When he takes that chicken and swallows it, he's got to cut through that mud and pull that stab sideways. That hook in that gut don't feel good when he starts applying pressure. So big old gators like this won't pull that stab out the ground. That Just like this. Oh. It's official. Good shot, dude. Woo! Oh. Dude, that's a big, big dude, bro. That's a big lizard, man. When I was a kid, we used to go to Aruba. I used to catch lizards with butterfly nets. I can guarantee you this is the biggest lizard I've ever caught. <laughs> Well, those lines were set when the tide was extremely high up there, and we didn't set them low enough. So when the tide went down, it was too far up. So the gators, unless they're really starving, they won't jump up and grab them. They won't get that high. Okay, right. Go. So we have. You want to keep them about 12 to 18 inches above the water. I told Papa Lee, said, look, I'd really like this to be the best hunt of the year. I got a good customer coming, Mr. James Rainbolt, and it looks like it happened. You know, I wanted, so wanted him to enjoy himself. Mm -hmm. and he got a pile of gators on the front of this boat now. <laughs> We're putting our last tag in right now. That's it. How many we got? <laughs> too many to count. They're kind of on top. Two thousand pounds of gators here, guys. How about that, right? We'll say it's all two thousand pounds. I would throw some more of those on top of here if you can. Yeah. No, I don't know. Yeah. We're gonna head back to dock now. We got enough gators to last forever, and. Uh, <laughs> We're gonna uh, get some good photos and uh, see how many we got. Yeah. Woo! Say nine, nine, uh, a little more, a little over nine foot. Let's see, nine, nine, 
Nine six. Nine six. Oh, almost there, huh? So this, nine, six, so this, nine, six, this, this one's going to be ten foot, ten foot three. Ten foot three. Fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> ten. Actually, ten ten. Ten ten. Ten ten. Ten ten. Wow. Ten ten. In total, we caught eleven coopers, gators. Dude, I've never done a gator hunt before. What the heck? We caught 11 gators today, guys. Biggest one was 10 feet, 10 inches, and it's all thanks to this guy over here, Jack. Jacked up charters. If you guys, seriously, if you want to go on a gator hunt, this is your guy. The season's over this year. Next year, you better book, and you better book soon, because he's going to fill it fast. Jacked up charters, check him out. He's the gator man. He also catches other things, too. What else you catch? Catch fish. Uh, catch catch fish. I'm an inshore guy. I fish full time. Really? Uh, do reds. We do specs. So you could do we a catch sheephead. We do redfish. We do blasting cast. And a gator hunt yeah. in the afternoon. Yep. Whenever uh, duck season ends, we start doing airboat hog hunts, airboat neutral hunts. Okay, we're coming yeah. back. Bro. You can see it on my Instagram. Back. Check all my pictures out. Guys, uh, go to his Instagram, Jacked Up Fishing. Jacked up Link's up in the description fishing. or it's written right here in that lower third. Check him out, guys. Make sure you also check out our new merch, blacktobase.com. We got all new stuff, guys. New hats, new shirts. Check that out. Link is in the description. Go to blacktiph.com. If you want to see our most recent video, click right here. If you want to subscribe, click right here. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Sweet.